Hi Aries, and welcome to your general love reading for May 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Aries, let's see. What is going on with you for the first half of May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the Six of Wands. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like you're in this mode of really trying to take care of yourself. Um, possibly even trying to nurture the connection that you have with somebody else and this can manifest in many different ways but I feel like you're also feeling like actually succeeding at that is proving to be a little bit challenging for you right now so we'll see more when we clarify um, of course this could be the other person's energy um, but I'm seeing it as kind of being yours all right, for your energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, <laughs> sorry, and Death. All right, so Scorpio's energy showing up here. Um, yeah, it feels like you're coming from a place where you feel like you've put in a lot of effort towards something, towards this connection, towards either finding stability or towards bringing about some kind of union with another person. Um, I, I don't know, I'm getting that you're either feeling defeated or you're just kind of, you're moving towards not putting in as much effort anymore. Um, so if there's, if it feels like there's like some kind of an ending in this connection or that some cycle is ending within the connection, I feel like, you know, you're moving towards allowing it to just be what it is. Let's see. <clears throat> For the other person, we have the sun. Okay, so that's Leo. We have the fool, which I see it as being Aries. And we have the six of cups. All right, interesting, because this other person here, they're... They're feeling like you are their happiness. Um, you are the person they want to be with. Not only that, I feel like um, this person feels a very deep and strong connection from you. If you're not in contact, this person is really moving towards nostalgia for this connection. So I don't know what the issue is here. It could be that they might be seeing this. This connection as being a risk. But this person is really considering taking this risk. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the hanged man. Okay, so it feels like things are still kind of up in the air here. Um, I feel like there's, there's like a taking a step back to just really analyze or assess the situation. So let's clarify and see more details here as to what is going on. Just have the Queen of Wands pop out, which is you. So I feel like that's a very specific message for you to really just keep focusing on yourself. Keep focusing on yourself, knowing that you are overall standing in your power. You are desirable. You have what it takes to have your happiness, regardless of this connection. Okay, so let's see. Um, for the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And we have the Six of Cups showing up again, which is in the other person's energy. The Ten of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like there's this, it's like you're in this mode of really just trying to nurture yourself, trying to nurture the connection, even if it's from a distance. Um, very deep spiritual connection here with this person. I feel like for a lot of you, you either have a very strong, intense past together, or you may have had previous lives together, or both. Um, and it's, I feel like it's been quite a journey. It's been quite a journey here with this Ten of Wands. And I feel like you're just getting to the point where if you were the one that was 
giving to this and trying to nurture and support this, you're feeling like, you know what, like this is just getting too much. Like there's just not much more I can do. And so it's like you're either setting up boundaries or you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm not, I can't be doing this anymore. Almost like you feel like it's pointless, like it's futile, like, like it's not getting anywhere. So you're just allowing it to be what it is. All right, let's see. I feel like even this, this person may not have been very, um, this is just going to be for some of you. I feel like um, for some of you, this other person may not have been very receptive to the nurturance that you were giving to this connection. Okay, so let's see that seven, sorry, the eight of pentacles in your energy. Yeah, six of wands and the knight of cups. So yeah, you were putting in a lot of effort because I, I see this as being um, either the recent past for a lot of you and for some of you it could be what's currently happening because this is a progression here. So yeah, you were really trying your best to put in effort and you know to bring about this love. I feel like maybe you were being very nurturing, as I said, or maybe you were being very loving, um, either providing a love offer or just being very open to it. But I feel like it's more than that. You were, you were actually pursuing this with the intention of actually succeeding thinking that this would lead to some kind of success, some kind of a victory here for this connection. Let's see the Four of Wands. The Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Hmm, I wonder if you've like stepped into like a friend's zone with this person because it's interesting. You have the Four of Wands and then it's clarified by the Ten of Cups which is telling you that, yeah, you know, you're seeing this person as somebody that you want in your life long term. Um, regardless, you would want to ideally have this Ten of Cups with them but then we have the Three of Pentacles here which is telling me that, you know what, you're like, okay, um, if that's not working, you know, I'm okay having you in my life, even if it's just as a friend, at least at this point, as long as something is stable here. Let's see death. All right, the chariot and the knight of swords. Wow. Something is ending. You're you're done here with something. Um, I don't feel like you're completely done with this person. Like I said, I feel like you're in this friends zone um, type of an energy where you know you're just accepting that. Maybe you're the one initiating that. Um, but I feel like there's a there's a really really um, swift transition that is coming in for you. And it might be different for each of you because it's not very specific as to what it is, but I feel like you're either going to change directions or you might even um, put an end to this completely or just really be done with putting an effort and just allowing things to be as they are. All right. Let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the sun, the king of cups, and the hermit. Okay, so we also have Virgo showing up here. Yeah, this person definitely has a lot of feelings for you. As I said, this is somebody who holds a lot of love, sees you as their happiness. Um, I'm even getting... I don't know, this just like really popped into my head very, very strongly. It's just going to be for some of you. Some of them actually want to have children with you. Um, but of course, you know, it really depends on the situation. However, this person I feel has been keeping to themselves. 
um, possibly not being very expressive of that with the hermit. And it's like they're just bottling up the intensity of what they feel. Like for some of them, they may have expressed some of these emotions, but not fully, not fully. And not only that, this is somebody who has done a lot of soul searching or is in the process of doing a lot of soul searching concerning their happiness and concerning love and concerning their emotions. So there's something here that I feel that this person is really trying to figure out in terms of love and happiness. Let's see the full. The page of cups and the page of wands. So two pages here. Okay, so this person is definitely moving towards communication or expressing what they have been bottling up. Um, maybe that is the risk here for them is to actually express this because maybe this expression um, comes also with some other difficulties like I don't know, like maybe this person is feeling like they can't walk their talk so why talk right so that could be the risk just an example of course it could be anything but this person is definitely wanting to take a risk and communicate something here to you possibly about their feelings that's what i'm getting here with the page of cups especially and possibly um in terms of thinking how to how to move forward just ideas i don't i don't know if they're going to say something so specific as wanting a reconciliation or I mean it could be with the six of cups <coughs> excuse me but definitely going to express something here concerning the path forward so let's see the six of cups the queen of swords and the two of cups yeah <coughs> okay excuse me I don't know what is going on with my throat all right this person is definitely wanting a reconciliation with you. Um, there's definitely a lot of clarity here and I feel like they're actually getting just, like they're warming up and it's getting hotter and hotter. Like they're starting off as this, with this hermit, right? And then there's this progression to the pages. Okay, there's some communication here. And then it's moving on to the queen of swords. It's like being very blunt, very upfront, very direct. About what? About this two of cups. The Six of Cups, this is all about love. The Six of Cups is a reconciliation. So this is very, very clear reading here, Aries. This person wants to be in your life, basically. <clears throat> but let's see that hanged man. for the potential outcome. And we have the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups, and Judgment. Okay, yeah. See, because even though this person is coming forward and expressing something here to you, and basically, I, I feel like it's because, see, the Six of Cups is coinciding with your death card. So it's like you being done, and it's I feel like, like this is happening very abruptly for you. Okay, this is like the energy coming up. Um, that's when they get into this mode, okay, like I need to be very direct here about what I want, um, which is this reconciliation and wanting to be with you. But something I... I feel like whatever is the initial issue here or the root of the problem or the reason why you're even moving towards this ending, it's like that That might not be 100% resolved, okay? Because there's something here. There's something here. There's some fear that I feel this person might be holding on to or maybe you, it depends. But there is... There is some fear. There is something here that just feels, you might feel like, you know what? No, this isn't exactly what I want. And if, you know, if one of the two of you is, is tied up to something else here with this Eight of Swords, you know, well then that can't bring happiness. So I, and I feel like there is some kind of a decision here that needs to be made with judgment. 
but this is also about, you know, really, real deep assessment, especially together with the hanged man, taking a step back to really, you know, um, assess the situation. And I feel like you're actually both doing that. I feel like it's mostly going to be the other person here, but, but yeah, it could definitely be for the both of you. So yeah, really interesting. This person, it's, you know, coming forward, but then I don't see you taking it so easily or taking them back or their offer so easily. Okay. So if this resonated with you, Aries, let's get the final message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And we have new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. Yeah, I definitely see the other person doing that, um, bringing love into the situation. I feel like for you, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, being able to see it from a love perspective, but then ultimately trusting your own intuition and, you know, deciding for yourself what it is that you want. All right, Aries, those were your messages. I thank you so, so much for watching and much love.